Hi my friends, this is Uys. In this video I will cover um, things you need to watch out for with the tires. First of all, let's start with the numbers. So 225, 55, R17. Oops, sorry. Now you can see it better. So, 225, 55, R17, 101, V. So 225 means it's the width of the tire. 55 is the height and percentage of the tire. R stands for radial. You also have diagonal tires. Diagonal tires are good for racing if you would drive forward straight. But for curves, you have radial tires. So series cars are standardly, uh, they get by standard the radial tires. Okay, so we have 17, that's 17 inch, the 17 inch, the rim of the tire. 101. So here's the 101. That's uh, how much. That's the index for how much that tire can carry. So if you open up the book and look at the index number 101, you will see another number in kilograms. So it will just say you how much this tire is able to carry in kilograms. And V is another index. That's, that index is for, uh, for speed. It's the speed index. So we, the velocity index. Um, it shows you how fast the tire can go. It's important to know the tire should be able to go faster than the car is able to drive. Then you're safe. Further things that you need to cover is if, uh, if they're all complete and then you would look uh, for damages. Damages could be you can have scratches, you can have scars, um, you can have dents in the tire, you can have dents in the rim. If the rim is damaged, most probably the tire is also damaged. So you need to exchange both. If the front left one is damaged, you, you exchange the front left and front right. If the, if the rear is tired, you exchange both of the rear tires. Alright, further you need to look for if you have any objects in the tire. It can be a needle, it can be uh, rocks or whatever. So once you cover that, you may want to look for the profile. By law, the minimum profile is 1.6 millimeters. So the examiner may ask you how to know by vision. How to, if you have no nothing to, uh, how would you know it's, if it's 1.6 or not? So here we have the TWI, the Treadwear Index. So it can be an arrow. Some cars have a TWA written there. A Michelin uh, tire has a Michelin uh, mannequin there. So in this case we have the we spot it here and see there. Maybe you can see here the little thing there, the knobs. Yeah. So that height is 1.6 millimeters. So if the profile is about that height, you need to exchange it. Uh, I would recommend summer tires to exchange them with three millimeters profile. And if you have winter tires, change them with four millimeters profile. Further, you need to look uh, about the air pressure. If you have enough sufficient air pressure. So you need to know where is the, how much air pressure do you need for this car? So that will, it can be at the tank cap, and this car is covered at the rim, B pillar. There we have the front car, the front tire, 2.4 bar, the rear tire, 2.2 bar. And you also have here the sizes again. So we covered the air pressure. Um, oh yeah, one thing is missing. I just mentioned it, summer and winter. How to know if you can drive in the winter with this car? Here is the Alpine symbol with the snowflake. There it is. You need to have that. If you want to drive in winter in snow or in, on ice, you have to have this symbol. If you don't have this symbol, it's not a winter tire. And if something happens, it's your fault. Okay. Okay, I think I covered pretty much all of them. Uh, make sure to watch my videos also in German, especially if you go to the test. You need this video is just for uh, basic understanding, and then you need to know it eventually in German. And the examiner may ask any of these things. I wish you best of success. If you like this video, please uh, give me a like, and um, as mentioned, best of success, my friends.